Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Batch and Arthur podcast. Today, we have a very special guest, one of the best upcoming musicians the UK has to offer, <laughs> and our, our very good friend, Arthur Hill. Hey. Yes. So I'm the musician, technically not. So today, we're going to be speaking about music, women, platform roulette, and life after Ooh. death. But oh. first of all, <laughs> because that, that can't surprise you. You told me that that's your special topic. <laughs> everything to do with Arthur, though. <laughs> Platform right? Yeah. Life I was after like, death. And seeing what really happens. Loves, loves <laughs> Life <about>. after death. <laughs> Live on the pod. what you really to speak about. No, oh, I did, no but I will be honest. Like It depressed me how, when you asked me if I had a specialist subject, I actually just don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> I've you gone through life. <laughs> Having no real interest in anything that much. When you say music could be your special, I topic. could say music. That's but why I, I thought music. Yeah, would but be a I, good one I, for this. knowing what you guys are into, I want to think of something more sort of scientific. Well, why don't you? Well, I saw you the other day or, saying you're planning on learning another language. Yes, because I just came back from Paris. Very mm. nice. And I just got. Normally, I'm quite like if I'm in England, I don't enjoy a social situation, which I'm really excited for the next hour. By the way. Um, and, <laughs> but no, like with a stranger or like, you know, when I'm going up to a bartender or a lady in a cafe or a man in a cafe. Um, but for some reason, I reveled the chance to speak in French to these French people. And I think I did it quite well. Obviously, it ran out after the first sentence, but I liked <laughs> it. I really liked it when they thought I was French. Yeah. And oh, thought, and they oh, did as well. Because I really tried, you know, if they were speaking to me in French, I have to go, mm, désolé, je suis anglais. Oh, oh, you are good. Mm. See, because you're good with impressions, you're yeah, also good that's with why. And accents. I think I would be good at it. And you're very nonchalant about it as well, so it mm. works really well. Yeah, and I understand mm. that because that's French. <laughs> <laughs> I can translate for you. I thought you did that for <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> is that it the is one you've, you've decided on? Are you going to go French? No, because I think Fre the problem with French is that France yeah. is, it, you know, France. Uh, and you won't go there that often. Uh, that's what I mean. Yeah. And um, But I think... Spanish would be tactically the best one because second most spoken language I in so. the world. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but my heart says Italian. Oh, my heart good. says Italian it's a great because I want to, you learn. know, take my future lady to, you know, Lake Como or something. Yeah, Do you speak great. Italian? The Italian oh my God, the tiniest, Italian batch. The tiniest amount. I can't claim to speak Italian, truly. I Give can't. us something. That's a great one as well. That, that single word. word just made me want to learn it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I was the same. I, I did French and Spanish at GCSE and then I was like mm. trying to figure out what, what I wanted to do and chose Spanish because Spain's great. And then you've got all of South America, which is cool. Yeah. True. But then I moved to London and I was like, what are we so <laughs> Never gonna use it. Arabic? And then started learning Arabic. Did you really? But I spent absolutely That's ages crazy. learning it phonetically. So I know how, if someone said a word to me, I can like write it out in Arabic. Oh, like, wow. Back to front with all the letters and the way they, wow. you know, vowels and stuff like that. And that I can, must be really difficult. Can, I can read it, but it, it took me so long to get to that point that I was like a bit tired of learning Arabic in general yeah. by the time I finished. And then I was yeah. like, God, now I'm starting to learn words. And then I did the classic. I went into my barber shop and said, hello. And he was like, what? <laughs> He's from <laughs> Algeria. So he spoke it. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Fuck off. And uh, okay. and I was like, oh, I've been learning Arabic, doesn't it? And he's like, oh, give me another sentence. And I said it. And he just laughed at me and went, you sound very academic, which is weird. Oh. It must be the, the, the way that Duolingo yeah, teach you. must be very like, Oh, it was a Duolingo, was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. But wasn't I, I never learned how to say yes or no. Like, I can tell you that my garage is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't, it's like, if well, someone good, says, I can't say yes or no, I don't know what the words that's are. That's probably the problem when you walked into the barbershop and said that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. What? That's why I laughed at me. I told him, my garage is amazing. Like, <laughs> in the package, and he's like, do you want a haircut? And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> my garage is huge. I can't huge. think of what to say. <laughs> yeah, because you don't know yes or no. My, say green, yes or no. <laughs> my green garage is fucking massive. <laughs> he's laughing at me. Can you swear? <laughs> no, I can't. No. Oh. No. Oh. No. Well, the thing is, we don't need to learn another language because we're English and we can yeah. go and speak English yeah. everywhere in the world. Yeah. And you will <laughs> cooperate. Thank you, Churchill. You will speak English. <laughs> the empire. That is true. Yeah. It's a bit sad because you try and speak a language you know in a foreign country and they sort of just speak back in English. Yeah. And yeah. you're like, oh, I was hoping to I practice feel guilty. A bit. I just feel guilty, you know. Yeah. yeah, I try and learn a little bit so it's like I put an effort in. Yeah. But then they... 
like you say, they'll save you. They'll be like, oh, we'll just do it in English that way. Yeah. They probably can't stand to hear you speak that language. That's true. Probably. It's that bad. Went to Amsterdam over the weekend and tried to oh, say Dutch. a few words like, for a, a hello or a thank you. Dutch is mental. Yeah. Uh, it's just it, like... It's not far off English, weirdly. It's quite like German, isn't it? A What's bit. hello? Just hello. 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 So that's but, um, German. Yeah. Cool place though, Amsterdam. Yeah, um, it is cool. <clears throat> but anyway, for people who don't know you, do you want to give a little bit of a... So why are you the music man? Why are you so talented? Why am I the music man? Wow, why is a good question. Wow, Think why? Back. Think back to the So womb. when did music what? start for you? Because I haven't known you that long. Music start, I think, I guess cavemen put rocks together or something first. I'm not, well, that's... Oh. Yeah. We've actually well, got an upcoming quiz. Oh, nice. And the dawn of music oh, you've is got the to stop dawn. your finger up. <laughs> For the audio listeners, every time Arthur has something to say, he'll put his finger up in the air. <laughs> you know, we have got an upcoming quiz. It's from Sketch. <laughs> Hello, brother. Yeah, that's what I thought you were doing. <laughs> upcoming quiz. <laughs> upcoming quiz. Great teams, great plays, great players. I'm so, I cannot do the sketch. Oh, my God. Oh, this is all evidently. <laughs> um... Okay, quiz, that's fun. <laughs> no, but as in I the dawn of I didn't, I didn't mean when did music be begin in society. Right, okay, music when began. When did it begin for well, you? Well, it's, it's, it is a bizarre journey. I'll, 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 I will Ooh. say that. I, um, I sort of did, I, I did the school shows in school. I always sung, but I sort of kept it on the down low because not the coolest thing in the world, mm. being in school shows. Um, I was, I was um, Troy Bolton. No way! Musical. You did high school musical. Like I did high school musical. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to kiss a girl on stage. Actually, it's quite weird. Really, as a kid? Yeah, they yeah. Made you she, do she that. was she was ten years younger than me. No. Yeah. What? what? You? He no, went basically. <laughs> 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 he went but, back. Yeah, recently. they joined the schools together. So I was Troy in year thirteen, and she was in year two. <laughs> Gabriella. This is when he was a teacher's <laughs> assistant last year. I really thought you were telling the truth. Yeah. Could, I thought he'd just gone back to do a show recently. Yeah, he had to kiss one of. <laughs> no, no, it was just like a weird experience, obviously, just kissing in front of those people. Yeah, yeah um, I can imagine. They shouldn't was that your first kiss? No, 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 no. Mm. No. <laughs> no, 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 like third. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but then I, I, I just always thought that um, trying to get into the circle of like, like being a professional musician would be just impossible, especially before TikTok. It's like, what do you, how do you mm. even get in there, like busking or... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I literally can't think That's of what, what, the, what the hell Basket. you'd have to get like discovered or scouted or something, you know? Mm. Um, so I never did it. And then I got told by my drama teacher that I was good at acting, but only the funny stuff. So I should try stand up. Um, so I did stand up comedy for a while. Wow. Was it how old? How old? Uh, when I was like 18. Oh, wow. Do you remember a snippet of your routine? Could we get a little? Um, no, it's bad. It was bad. Can really? you give us a go? On, uh, just do it. Just a little. Song. I used to open with. <laughs> so, um, wait, I need to make sure I get this right. Um, yeah, don't bomb up here, please. Yeah, it's going to be a tough crowd. Oh damn! I just asked my mum. He's really thinking hard, by the way, for your audio listeners. He's. Yeah. Um, He's he, I, I said, I would say, um, I asked my dad why he called me Arthur. And he said he wanted me to be like King Arthur, you know, strong, wise, not real. <laughs> that's actually quite good. Yeah, that's yeah, not bad. Thanks, that's that's a strong good. opener. Yeah. And best I of should all, go back. that's a joke I can steal. Yeah, exactly. Um, and me. The one time I changed it and I, it bombed really hard. And it was for, it was actually for a uni student. Like it was a big oh, like no. nationwide thing where like the, it's quite famous, like the Chortle Student Comedy Awards. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Never heard of uh, <laughs> 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 to watch. Yeah. <laughs> um, but like loads of famous people have like gone on to be famous of one. Yeah. Um, and I, I was like, what did, the, what did the dog say whilst angrily watching the football? Woof. <laughs> 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 oh, and I thought that was really good, but what it bond. Yeah. And there was this one guy in the front who just like went, ha! Because <laughs> 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 it's so bad, um, but yeah, I did. I oh. sort of. It was really hard, obviously. Like it was just like I had to try and do like one a week, and it was I couldn't do it because I was like traveling up to London, um, and also just insanely nerve wracking. So I sort of gave up. 
basically. Yeah. Um, and did I moved here to do film at university because I wanted to move here. And then all the TikTok stuff started happening of me shouting at my mother. Um, and then I did the James Blunt impression. Mm. Um, it was a beauty. And a random man messaged me. Um, <laughs> no, he was a random, I suppose he was a random man at the time. Um, and asked like, do I make actual music? Because your voice actually sounds like it's quite nice. Mm. And I went, no, I haven't. Um, and he said, would you want to? And I said, yeah, I'd love to. Um, so he put me in a session with a producer and a writer. And then we made Tiny Room. No way. Yeah. Mm. And that was sort of my audition in a sense. So and they scouted you from a video. They scouted me from a James Blunt video, yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. Um, it, it's not surprising because when we did that Platform Roulette and we went to Deal, for those of you who don't know what Platform Roulette, it's a series we do on Arthur's channel. Very <laughs> good fun. We rock up know. to a train station, get the first train out, go somewhere, get drunk and have fun. It's very good. And at the end of the one where we went to Sandwich and Deal, we mm. did a karaoke show. We did. And I'm guessing because of copyright, you couldn't put your whole performance no, in. And yeah. That's when a Patreon would be good, it, wouldn't it? it? Great for that, yeah. yeah. Great. Um, but Arthur did a, uh, a a James Blunt cover, and the crowd they loved it. people did cry. They were <laughs> it was <laughs> quite fun. it was pretty no, insane. No, there was the girl next to us was crying. They are they are like, yeah, that, that wasn't like, even a joke. Yeah, and she was in tears. Like, this is like two or three people were like you need to come back here. Yeah, um, and the the like manager of the um, pub there was like a hotel as well. He's like, how much would we have to pay if you'd like come down every Friday? Oh my God. Like, we'll give you a free room if you can just come down. <laughs> <laughs> but, I was, and I, but they didn't think, please, they didn't think, because we didn't tell them mm. that I was like actually a musician. They're like, you you need to do they something thought, with yeah. this yeah. voice. <laughs> like, you've got such a special voice, you need to do something. And I was like, oh, I, I'll think about it. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it was just about, a karaoke night. Yeah, it was like this ran, it was, it was really wholesome. It was very funny. And the guy that was oh, running God. the karaoke was a singer himself and he was pretty good. Yeah. Mm. And so like, Everyone else would get on, I'd get on, be a bit crap, and he'd come on and sing something. You're like, this guy's got a nice voice. Yeah. And then Arthur came on and genuinely, like, the whole pub was, like, emotionally I had to do it, it two was, more it was times. crazy. Really? Really? Yeah, oh he, yeah, he, 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 it sounds like a cool story that I would make up, but it did happen. No, that it felt did. Good, didn't the crying it thing is actually good. genuinely true as well. Yeah. I've got, got a video of it. You filmed them girl, crying. Well, we were just we were vlogging. Say that again, please, love. Say that again. And she was just in tears listening to him. Yeah. So with Tiny Room, I always wonder this, like what's the process of like fully making a song start to So finish? Tiny Room, I was, was, I got so lucky because I obviously at the time didn't have a clue about songwriting. Like I just, and, but cause I'm a bit of a wet wipe anyway, I'd written this poem about this girl that I had basically been with in Canada where I lived, where I went traveling for a while and I was there for like four months. Mm. Ended up like staying in this very tiny room with this girl for a while and, having a sort of semi relationship thing going on. Um, and I like wrote a poem about it. <laughs> no way. Um, and then I just like looked at the poem in the start of this session. I was like, Oh, this could be a song. And then that, yeah, that just kind of ended up being the song basically. Does she know it's about She her? does. Yeah. I actually, I, I did. I did tell her right afterwards. Yeah. And how long um, does it start to finish from like, I've got an idea. Let's make a song to like, it's out. Um, it's like, well, it sort of depends. So, it is a weird, it's like blind dating a lot of the time, like, because I work with new people all the time. And then, so it's be like, oh, this is a new producer that I've just met. Hello, mate. And then he'd take me to his room. And, the, um, <laughs> and then we just have to like, I have to open up really quick, you know, like, because yeah. like, what do you want to write about? And I'd be like, oh, well, this happened last week. Or this girl broke my heart or, mm. you know. Um, so it's quite a weird experience. And so you can spend like eight hours on a song and it can just be rubbish. And just mm. sort of forget that it ever happened and just sort of wasted a day. Or you can spend like, yeah, the same amount of time and be like, this could be a banger. So then you'll like show it to your management and then they'll be like, oh yeah, go and finish this. And that's kind of what happens. Because I always find it weird when you like drop something on TikTok, like this song's coming out mm. next month and you're already playing it in the TikTok. Like, what, yeah, what, what's well that's, whole... that's just like annoying Spotify things. So that's like, now you want to pitch your song. So like... The, the by next one that's coming out has already been pitched to Spotify. So the song is out and done. The song has been done. Yeah, the song's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. But you have to pitch it. You have to Spotify. pitch it so that they decide whether they want to put it on playlists. Right. So like basically that's why people ask for pre-saves as well, which is obviously like super fucking annoying. Mm. But the more pre-saves you get, Spotify will be like, oh, this song has hype. So we're going to put it on playlists. Oh, that's what so I like, was that's why you give it like well. you're meant to give it six weeks, but we normally just give it like a month. 
So, yeah. Interesting. Mm. I thought it was just like a, almost like when you're like, oh, I'm almost done editing this video, but it usually is like no. fully done. Yeah. I mean, I made the John Wayne. I made that like literally like uh, nearly two years ago. Really? Wow. That's Do you mad. get sick of a song once it finally comes yeah. out? <laughs> you <laughs> must have been yeah because it, it takes it's like it takes so long there's like so many processes like you have to like send it off for mastering and mixing and there's yeah. like i've had like 10 different versions of the same song you have to listen and be like oh the kick drum needs to come up a decibel and be less thin mm. i don't even really know what that means that's thin yeah but we don't discriminate there can be no. whatever size be curvy if you yeah want curvy kick drum, kick drum. Curvy. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok's a bit of a blessing and a curse like that because sometimes yeah. I'll, I'll find really good music that I love on TikTok, but sometimes I'll follow someone because they're like, my song's coming out and it's in a month and I'm like, this is so catchy. And they post every single day. And when they're like, the song's out, I'm like, I've heard this one bit yeah. so many times. Yeah. I'm sick of it. And you see loads of comments like, I'm literally not going to listen to this song ever again because I've heard it a thousand times. It is weird. This one little bit and well, I'm sick of it. Like my, one of my best mates who I've written with who did Ice Coffee and You're Not A God With Me, He's now in a duo and they did that home song. Darling, won't you take oh, yeah. me home? No? Don't know that one. Know that you one. would have definitely heard it. I know that one. And like, it's just like, yeah, well done. Thanks. Um, and now that it's on like 100 million streams That's insane. in like a month. And he's just got all these like, wow. he's been like flown out to LA and oh New God. York and all these people. He's like changed his life completely. From that one TikTok sound. Yeah, from basically. that one TikTok sound because it just like, went nuts. Yeah, That's TikTok can be huge for yeah. you, can't it? But I hate it when you uh, find a song on TikTok, but it's only that bit is good. And then you listen to yeah, the rest yeah. of the song. <laughs> That's what I get trash. stressed about. It's like, God, what if, like, what if the rest of the song sucks, you know? <laughs> yeah. That happens yeah. so much to or me. Or when you find a song like, and it's sped up and it's a banger. Yeah. And then you listen mm. to it slow and you're like, the oh. The actual version's crap, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I hate that. Yeah, because I, I did that trend, the Hey Mr. Rager trend. And I was like, this is a really? banger, the Hey Mr. Rager. Oh, did you have it sped up? Yeah, and I had never heard the original oh, Kid really? Cudi version of it slow with his deep voice and listen to it. And I was oh, like, oh, this like doesn't it, hit the same. <laughs> now I really like it because I've yeah. listened to it a lot. But I was mm. like, yeah. this isn't what I was looking for. I guess you know? it depends what you're used to. Huh? Yeah. I love that song. Do you? Yeah. The Kid Cudi. Like, I love Kid Cudi. Yeah, me too, man. No, I love him more. <laughs> no, love I love Cudi? him the most. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love Kid Cudi? D does it make Kid you want to make songs that are like... Because people definitely make songs nowadays that have 10 seconds in it that's such boomery, yeah. catchy, yeah. cringe stuff. And you're like, you've made this for that 10 second of TikTok cringe. It's a tricky one because I kind of want to be like, I want to stay authentic to what I want to make. But also mm -hmm. it would be good yeah. to have a viral song <laughs> yeah. and yeah. get loads of money. Because yeah. you could have like nine good songs and then one cringe yeah. one that pops off that yeah, attracts true. the rest. Mm. Like when you're with YouTube, I don't know if you do that. Sometimes I'm like... I'll do a YouTube video that I know will do better, but isn't like particularly the content I want to do. Yeah. Because I know when that does a lot of views, it will bring attention to That's the rest pretty of mine. Yeah, I think with YouTube as well, you go on like a journey, like in the like right now I'm making like a like reaction commentary videos, but that's not really what I want to do. I just know that's going to get views mm. and growth. What so. do you want to do? What do you want to do? Like a more like more bigger of videos, you know? More bigger videos. Bigger videos. Bigger videos. Just out in the real world doing stuff. But uh, Damn, it's got to wait. World. It's got to wait. It's scary so the real world. You do All in good these, time. These, uh, real world is things. scary. Real world is scary. Yeah. We're in it. What are your thoughts on AI songwriting? <laughs> we spoke about this the other day. Oh, but that's I've interesting, got, actually. I, I, I don't know whether it was real. I'm guessing it's not. Have you seen these? They're called Ortego, the two twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah that, so, they are real. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah, no, they're, yeah. I, I'm, I met them in real mm. life. Been out on night out with them and stuff. Lovely boys. So have I. Um, Really, really lovely, actually. Like, genuinely two of the nicest people I've ever met. Wow. Um, but they did a song being like, our careers are over. We asked AI to do this, and it did. And it was just uh, a song. Oh, yeah, I think. Was that fake? I think that was fake. I think that was just a really smart promo. Mm. But there is an AI website where you can type in, yeah, make this type of song, and it yeah. does it in about three seconds. And some of the songs are actually quite good. Well, AI Drake was amazing for like a month. Mm. Oh, my that? goodness, like, I know. Genuinely better yeah. than Drake. But was that, that wasn't like pure AI, was it? No. That was someone was, no. singing someone, and then yeah. he made it sound yeah. like Drake. That's yeah. That's what did, yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I could, I don't know if it could ever make like properly good, like by itself could make good music. Because also it's like know. the feeling, like you want to know that you're listening yeah. to an artist as well, I feel. 
But computers like never had its heart broken, like, you know? Pe- like nowadays, so a, a lot of people can't tell the difference between yeah. real and AI art. And people always said that. And then now AI has just gotten so good. It's like it's, people could put two things in front of us and be like, which one was AI? And we would just not have a clue. Yeah. And obviously Broken music may crazy. very well song, get that there song someday. Name. That is a good song name. But even with the AI covers, you listen to them and you're like, this is Chunks and Philly singing this song phenomenally. Yeah. And what? it's not actually them. You see these, the AI covers. I haven't seen the Chunks and Philly stuff. No, no neither have I. Or like, you know, Sidemen singing Dave. Oh, they make them sing something. Yeah. yeah they take their voice. I How enjoy the like, Mr. Krabs ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Cartman as well. Yeah. Cartman's got pipes. <laughs> Car- <laughs> Eric Cartman and Plankton. <laughs> <laughs> he like hits it with like, the gravel. Yeah. It's the gravel. The That's voice. The same with so good. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah, that and, will destroy. And will it artists. get to the point where you'll be like, oh, I don't even have to go into the studio tomorrow because I can feed it the lyrics and the tune. Oh, it God. knows what my voice sounds like. You know, I don't. Even I wonder. I feel like in. artists are like precious. I, I think I wonder more so with like as opposed to just videos, but with music, like there'll probably just be some control over it. I think. Do you think? I reckon so. This be got like to be. Kind of... Otherwise, yeah. what's real? True. Nothing's Beyonce real. Beyonce will be like, I don't want this to happen. Everyone will be like, yes, I agree. And then... Yeah, true. Yeah. Like with the but, Taylor Swift images one. Exactly. They'll probably yeah. put through like a law, a law that states you have to like proclaim this is a mm. AI piece of art. You do on TikTok and Google now. So yeah, on you YouTube, should do, don't really. you? you if, should. if you upload a YouTube video and you've got like a, a green screen background that's AI, I do you know now that. have to tick a button Damn. that says that there's AI involved here. I didn't you like know use that. Midjourney to make your background, which I do. So I have to tick that little thing. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're like a little house background. Yeah, yeah little bookshelves really behind me. <laughs> Thank that's you. Really cute. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, very, it is really cute. Cozy, isn't but it? But yeah, they should they should make that a law for yeah. like art and stuff. Yeah, because I genuinely I wouldn't want to listen if I listen to a music. A piece of music. <laughs> a music. <laughs> this guy knows his stuff. <laughs> if I listen to a I music, to right? music or, or, all the time. Or watched an art. <laughs> yeah, or if I watched an art and I thought, oh, I really enjoy this, but then I found out it was made by AI, I'd be really annoyed. Mm, and I'd be yeah, annoyed I annoyed with myself are. for enjoying it. Yeah. And then I would stop listening to it or enjoying whatever it is. I saw a really interesting debate the other day, though, of people saying, shouldn't this, because th- there was a, a thing, an artist basically on Twitter that was like, I'm a struggling artist. I do commissions eight or 10 hours a day. The fact that someone can go on AI and make that in a second Mm. takes away from my job. And the person replied saying, wouldn't it be an ideal world if rather than having to work eight or 10 hours a day, AI was doing everything that meant you could sustain yourself live and you could just be doing your own art for fun. I mean, isn't the end goal the fact that none of us should have to work? Yeah, there's, I read a book that said in the, in the end, like in, in by 2050, we'll either be, slaves to ai or ai will be doing everything for us everything. and we'll have to do nothing i think that but i would i guess if you could still got hobbies it's fine yeah 2050 slaves to ai slaves to ai or because ai will be so powerful then mm. that it's it already just to control us like we'd be insane. like zoo animals to them yeah because you've got to think like um when you look at an ant we're so much smarter than an ant or a fly i'm not you can pick whatever bug you want you pick a fly you're so much smarter than a fly. You don't really care for it. I, I don't, I'm not saying I kill them, but I'm saying you don't care about it that much. Yeah, like we have You just overlook it. You don't think it's a threat. You just, it's whatever. You brush it aside. Yeah. AI will get to the point fly. that it's <laughs> it's so much more intelligent than us and they'll, they'll just look at us like that. <laughs> yeah. Like a fly. In I can see that. I, 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 I'm, That's I'm, so <laughs> true. <laughs> just trust me, bro. I definitely think that none of us will, no one will be working in like, yeah, a couple of decades. 2050. I reckon this podcast then. won't exist. It's thinking like loads of flies are going to stitch that clip. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Make sure you keep <laughs> the context, please. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this clip is oh going to get cancelled <laughs> in the fly community. I'm actually really kind to bugs and flies and stuff. I don't kill them ever. Why? But no bugs. No bugs. Clip that. Clip that. Clip that. No, I never. <laughs> why I not? Kill any. Never. No, Moral never. reasons? Yeah, just morally. I just think why kill it. When you don't have to, why do it? Do you eat meat? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I don't eat bugs. Ah, oh, true. But I eat, I'm doing something with the meat. When you kill a fly, you don't do anything with Fair that enough. meat. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's true. And I, mean, I try I, not I to eat, eat them big mammals. I kill them. Is that not a thing? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, but if you do that, fine, fine. But would you eat the, because that's another big thing people talk about projections for the future. 
is that all bugs. our food will be bugs. We only use meat. Oh, yeah. Because they're much better for you, much mm. higher protein percentage. I was going to say, flies strike me as something that would have good protein. Probably. Would you eat a, yeah. a bug they're burger? just protein on wings. <laughs> yeah. fly, Basically. Yeah. A bug burger? Yeah. Uh, pff, nah. I wouldn't. I would. I had crickets the other day and they're just really nice. Really? And so, a, a stupid amount of protein compared with like the exact same amount of chicken. I, I could go vegetarian or vegan. I was for a while. Why you? That Short, you? Why did you come out of it? Four months <clears throat> or something. Um, yeah, four months. <laughs> Pretty solid effort. <laughs> I was for a long time. Um, I <laughs> came out of it for purely selfish reasons. I just, I think I got drunk one time and had a burger and I was like, fuck, I missed that. And yeah. also like I was, I was losing a lot of weight because I'm quite mm. a picky eater. Mm. Yeah. So I wasn't having enough protein. Um, and I just was like, oh, fuck it. And I, I do think in my head I will go back when I get to a certain like point of my being happy with my body. Yeah. yeah. I think I could go. I could go yeah. Right I there think there's a lot you. of, there's so many alternatives now. Yeah. Yeah. And some of them are pretty fucking horrible. But I've um, got some friends who are vegan who say that for every single one, like sausage, bacon, there's now an alternative that is better, they think, really? than the mm. original. Because I struggled to so find a bacon one. Mm. Bacon. I, the thing is, if I went vegan, I don't even think I'd eat the alternatives. I would just eat veg. Because they're not actually very good for you. No. no. Oh, really? Eddie Abu would not be happy with Yeah, they shit. just chuck loads of like seed oils and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is not good for your fucking gut. But there's a guy <laughs> called Alex O'Connor. Have you ever heard of him? Cosmic Skeptic. No, and that kind of rings a bell, Cosmic Skeptic. Cosmic Skeptic. He, he's quite a big, you name. might have seen, especially if you're into your theology and stuff, he does a lot of, he's had Brian Cox on Cosmic his skeptic. podcast, I think. I think it's, uh, I can't remember. So are you guys. But he, Hashtag he, get Brian Cox on Back and Arthur podcast. That's one, one Arthur. hashtag. He said your name wrong. I did your say it. Unbelievable. Fuck. Sit. Sorry. Uh, what's wrong with you? But he is, Sorry. He, Sorry. he's really good at I'll sort take of, it back. No, take it back. <laughs> Fuck. No, you're fine. Sorry. You, it's done now. Yeah. It's whatever. People are going to call me back for the rest of my life. No, thanks. <laughs> That's it. I'm not actually... No, no, no. No. <laughs> anyway, this, this <laughs> Alex... Actually, actually, actually someone, someone said we should get him on the podcast. Cosmic, yeah, maybe Cosmic that's where skeptic. I saw the name, Cosmic maybe. Skeptic. He's sort of like our age. He studied theology, I think, at Cambridge. Might be getting that wrong. Oh, but he, he smart, debates God smart. and the existence of God a lot. Does He, he debates uh, God. Oh, that might... That, I, maybe I've seen him because he's for God, right? No, against. Yeah, I've definitely not seen him. <laughs> <laughs> Think of someone else. That's someone's hair. Uh, yeah. And he's become a vegan. And his, he is his arguments vegan. for it are very compelling. Yeah. I, oh, maybe I have seen this guy, but I think I... There's one guy I follow, Vegan Ed. <laughs> Just straight uh, to the point. Vegan Ed. And he, like, he makes it impossible to not feel guilty about eating meat. Yeah. He'll like, debate meat eaters in like, America and just like, I'm like, God... Yeah, I mean, I've literally never seen that's because the they're thing. just like, oh, if they, what if I kill it myself, and uh, well, I, you know, it's it's a painless death, and uh, <laughs> Trump, <laughs> it's, it's a painless <laughs> death, <laughs> you know, beautiful creature. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but and then he's like, well, they still have feelings, you know. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, do. they do. That's Alex's yeah. whole thing. He's like, do they suffer? And it's like, well, yes, they do. And is it unnecessary because we don't need to eat them? Also, yes. So it's like you're causing unnecessary suffering. And yeah. That's pretty much the foundation I, I, of everyone's morality. I think it's the scale of it is the issue as well for yeah. me. Like it's like when you try and fathom like how much, even like we think about London, like McDonald's, yeah. how much beef they must go through. Like there's no way they're humanely killing no. that much no, cow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I saw a video, this was like, honestly one of the most like it's like, the, I don't know where it was, what country. It was like, you know, the, water slides you go like a water park where it's like a basin yeah so you like you, you slide down it the... it was yeah. all these cows walking <laughs> getting pushed through, through a line and then there was like just like a fuck it, they go through the hole in the middle and they just get chopped up oh that's my horrific. goodness that's that was awful real that's real it was real that's horrific yeah yeah, yeah that's pretty scary i think i will go vegan yeah <laughs> I t well i try not to eat big mammals although i just oh no really ah Chicken's not that big. No, no, that's what I mean. I forgot. I, I love a I mammoth a occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I, I try not to eat... Mammoth roast on a Sunday. <laughs> cow. I try not to eat cows. Fair enough. Yeah, cows are cute. Man. Yeah, they're I, like yeah, big I dogs. Try it. That's the thing. Like, I lived on a farm, so... I had a f well, for, uh, not only for a couple of years, but... Yeah, ringworm. Given we treated all the animals really nicely, it was like, I, have, I cannot see a problem of eating this egg. Like, this chicken has just laid an egg. It's not going to turn into a baby chicken. Yeah. I'm going to eat that and it's fine. And this cow, he was chilling in the sun most of the day, 
nice big pastures, running, chilling with its mates, gets milked, fine. Whoa. It's more but than, again, yeah, even that sort of questioned. That is, I the think sort of the ones where they make them is pretty bad as well. Yeah, yeah. where they sort of the make sort them of pregnant and then take them, them away from yeah. their kids. Yeah. yeah, I think it's different if you like live on a farm. You you collect it yourself, and then if the cow dies of old age, happy life, and you eat it. Mm. That is just another side of that. the argument. Is the you know Britain is like uh, there's so many farmers that need it for a living, and you know yeah, that's true. But the government could just retrain them to farm almonds. I, I think um, it's it's ho it's horrible the scale. But yeah, everyone is entitled to their choice. I was the the one thing that is like, yeah, the it, it, if we stopped eating those meats, there's a lot a bunch of cows and a bunch of chickens that would have existed and died, that will never exist. And I'm like, I'd rather them live live a happy life for like a year or two and be killed. Isn't that better than them never existing as long as they're treated well? You know what I mean? I don't know about that. Yeah. What brought into, but I see because I don't, well, just if they if they live a happy life, yeah. So two paths, like one path, this cow called Steve gets born, yeah. dies age three, and is eaten, or where everyone's vegan and Steve doesn't even and get Steve born in the first exists. place. Kind of tough. But maybe that is an interesting point. I thought about it. Should be up to mm. Steve, but he doesn't get the choice. No, he doesn't get the choice. Why would you call him Steve as well? And then you could almost do that. That logic's a bit dangerous because you could be like. Well, this person I, I've, I've I've born and bred him. He's going to be my slave, and it's like, oh well, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have bred him. He wouldn't be alive if he wasn't going to be my slave. Yeah, you know what I it's, mean. It's a tough one because also then you could talk about um, what's the. <laughs> what are you for those audio listeners? He just held <laughs> out his hand, <laughs> looked at us, and said nothing. Oh, uh, uh, pro right is that what's called pro pro right <laughs> pro life or pro choice? Yeah, pro life. Yeah, pro choice. Pro life. Pro Pro-life, pro-choice, pro -choice. whatever it is. That's like that debate sort of similar to. Interesting. Think? I think let women do what they want with their bodies. Yeah. Yes, but once they're born, they go straight into slavery for three years. Then we kill them. Women? women? No, no, the child. What? what? Well, that's what you just said. Oh, and they have a happy Steve's life. doing that. Yeah. Sorry, not slavery. A happy life for three years. Then we kill the child and eat it. Because Interesting. that's what happens to Steve. Yeah, so we can have that one actually because I think the whole pro life pro choice is a really interesting one. But I feel like another time for now, back yeah. to music, and it's time for the first ever Batch and Arthur quiz. Oh, Yay! What's the theme music? Ch uh, chicken seasoning. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh. It's probably, probably can you chicken make it? <laughs> it's probably chicken seasoning. Yeah. Make it now. Make it now. You can. You, we've got a musician. We should make actually yeah. make, make a theme too. Give us a real quick. It's the batch and all the quiz. <laughs> there we go. Nice, that was good. Okay, that please was, pick up your good. whiteboards, pens. Oh, so go ahead as oh. you're the guest. Thank you. In future, I think we'll do drinking quizzes. Oh, oh, <laughs> what is that all about? Don't worry. Pen. Don't worry. But for now, we're just going to quiz for fun because batch has to drive home. We're yeah. quizzing all over this. Pens at the ready. I hope this is right, but oh. in 1999, the year Arthur Hill was born, is that true? That is true, Hooray. yes. Yeah. 19. Oh. What was the highest selling single of the year? Ooh. Now, quite a long time, so I've got a couple of options for you. Oh, multiple choice, is it? Uh, you've got five. <clears throat> so, was the highest five. selling single of the year? I mean, there are some bangers that came out this year. Really? Lou Vega's Mambo Number no. 5 oh. is a... Can we get a rendition of each song, please? Just a little bit of Monica by my side. A little bit of Rita's what I need. A little, a little bit of... That one. A classic. Okay. <clears throat> Is it B? Backstreet Boys' is I Want It That Way. Oh. I want oh. it that way. Tell me why. A classic. <laughs> is it C? Britney Spears, Hit Me Baby One More Time. Ooh, baby, mm. baby. <laughs> We're right. Oh, that was Michael Jackson, wasn't it? <laughs> what? Baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hit me, well. baby, one, one more time. time. Is it D? Eiffel 65's Blue Dabba Dee Dabba Die. Dabba Dee Dabba Die. Dabba Dee Dabba Die. Or. Last one, I'm going to give you... There were just so many bangers. I, said, I literally can't... <laughs> like, many. Have I you ever seen <laughs> multiple choice where you've got five options? Might as well just not be multiple <laughs> yeah. choice. A to E. 
<laughs> is it Ricky Martin's Living La Vida oh Loca? Oh my God, this is hard. Oh. This is Living hard, but I know the answer. Loca. Do you? Do you really? No, you don't. Okay. To run through them really quickly. How would you know that? I it, don't really. I'm is it Mambo number five? I want it that way. Hit me baby one more time. Blue Dabba D or Living La Vida Loca? <laughs> Blue Dabba D. So if you both write your answers, do you want to do your answers and then turn them around? Oh, are we just doing that? Yeah, yeah you we'll keep do that. score, okay. So I went up to E, right? Yeah. Are we just doing the letter? Was, are we writing the letter? A, right? yeah, just the letter. Okay. A, Mambo number five. I can do that. B, I want it that way. C, hit me baby one more time. D, Blue Dabba D or E, <laughs> Live in La Vida Loca. Blue what, D? Dabba D. D is... Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, it was a bad joke. That's horrific. Okay. What is that? Is that a letter? Okay, yeah, I got you. I'll do it next to it. All right. Please reveal your answers in three. I've made it very small. Actually. Two. Wait, it's, wait, it's right. One. Oh, it'll be a horrible reveal. If reveal. To who? The camera or you? So Batch has gone you B. Can see the camera. I want it that way. And Arthur's gone to hit me, baby, one more time. Did you say you already knew that? Yeah. That's funny because you're wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Arthur, you are right? right. Am I right? It oh. is Britney Spears. No. Get in. Baby, one more time. Oh, my God. Hell yeah. But what Hit a year for music. Some what a year for there. music. Do you know Honestly, who... there were more. I think more Fat Boy Slim dropped an entire album. You're joking. And Not Fat Boy Slim. And he had like three top threes. Right about now. The Funk, funk Show brother. brother. Was that what Check it was? Check it out now. Do, 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 do. Okay. That was really good. Thanks. Question number two. One nil to Arthur. Batch, this is your own podcast, pal. You better come on. Better pick yourself up by your bootstraps there. <gasps> come on. I'm just a puppet on this podcast. I don't believe it's not mine. Aren't we all really? As Arthur hinted Post to earlier, oh, sorry. how long has music been around? Now we're going for the first firm evidence. <laughs> what do you what are you looking for here? A year? Yeah. Or, and it's number of years wins? ago. Oh, closest number of years wins. ago. Yeah. As in like, so the answer could be 3,000 years ago. Yeah. Not the year it was made. Yeah, just go okay. years ago. Okay. And I think they use standard time. So from 1950 is when they say. Not Greenwich Mean Time. How many years That's ago? time yeah? zone. Oh. How many years ago? How many years ago? So just put so, X number of years ago. Music. First ever firm music. evidence of music. This is hotly disputed. So I, I honestly I just don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I'd like to learn sign language. We could do a whole podcast in it and get zero views on Spotify. <laughs> Just an hour of dead silence with slight ruffling. Slight ruffling. You can think out loud, by the way, obviously. Actually, no, probably think not. Think out loud. No was, going on that was Ed Sheeran. Was that really like, <laughs> that, 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 long, that long ago? <laughs> that was the first ever song. <laughs> He's in our Have you seen it? Okay, I think I'm going to have to push it in. Uh, okay. Um, so oh, this could be way off. Evidence. I honestly don't know. And is I guess the firm evidence is like a buried miracle or something. Okay. Well, Arthur, would you please re reveal like your I'm answer? I feel like I've made a d doozy. 3,000 years ago, fair enough. Batch, <laughs> 20,000 <laughs> years ago. Some big differences there. So, <laughs> Arthur, what were you thinking 3,000? Um... I don't know, to be honest. I'm trying to think like how long we have been around and I got a bit confused. Um, math isn't my strong suit. 20,000. I think this is, is this about the sort of time Neanderthals disappeared? Uh, 20, 30, 20K yeah, years not, ago? That's what I think. They fuck off, we start celebrating. True. We start think about, making I, tunes. I wouldn't have known. Yeah, 20,000, 3,000. So. Yeah, I'm all over the shop. 20. It actually when, when is 40,000 years ago. Oh my gosh. Really? If you double that, you get 40,000. So Batch Fuck. wins. It is. Uh, one I was meant, sorry, I was meant to put another zero. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. You were bang on. Anyway, uh, 40,000. Did it say like um, what they discovered that made them think it was? So that'll be the next question. But just, okay, interesting. just, just okay, because interesting. there's a bit of, for, for the science enjoyers, <laughs> wicked, <I> <laughs> that enjoy a bit of disagreement, uh, some people think it's anywhere from 50,000 to 300,000 years ago. We found some things that people think are instruments, but we're not I sure. I feel like a right fool. Three Although, musicians should know. Homo sapiens haven't been around that long, have they? Um, well, Homo sapiens are between 100 and 300,000 okay, years ago. Between, okay. It's obviously a uh, evolution is a gradient. Yeah. You're um, right. But you're anyway, right. you're right. Number three, which will answer your your question of interest: What was the Please. first instrument made of? 
So this is the instrument we've had. People think we've been singing for a lot longer than these years as well. Mm. That we could have been singing and chanting for. Imagine the first person to sing. Yeah. Imagine being in that room. It's just me and you in this, this tiny, tiny cave. Ooh. I have I have two ideas, but I can only put one comma. Yeah. Put your other one in brackets. Uh, but what was the first instrument made of? What was the first instrument made of? So we found an instrument from 40,000 years ago. What do you think it was made of? Oh my God. God. Oh, there's so many things. You know that. <sighs> there are seven questions in this quiz, by the way. Good. This is just three. It's good fun. Okay. Um, and you're tied at one or so there this? will be a winner. Did you make I did. this or yeah. did you get AI? No, I made, I made this. Nice. <sighs> thing with chat GPT is it's good with languages, but it makes stuff up. <laughs> there was a, a, a law case recently where someone went in and they got ChatGPT to do it and it's made up a bunch of case names. Oh my God. Terrible. Blimey. Oh yeah. Did, oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay, Batch, can you please reveal your answer? I put hair in brackets. This isn't my answer. Just other thoughts. Wow, that's smart. Shells or stones or uh, teeth. Interesting. Interesting. And Arthur? I've gone for recycled plastic. The first no, I'm ever joking. instrument. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I'm joking. I, would have, I would have said, you know, wood, something like that. Boring. Mm -hmm. True, wood has been around for a long time. Unfortunately, neither of you correct. Stone? It's Worst quiz. bone. Oh, oh, well, teeth. I put teeth in brackets, all right? They found a Divj Babe flute. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I actually have one of them. From the Divj Babe <laughs> cave in Slovenia. Yep. Slovenia. Oh, that's where they found all that old shit. And it was a young cave all bear femur. <laughs> oh, a what? A young... A young cave bear femur. Cave bear femur? Oh, yep. it's not human then. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, I always thought femur who, would be like Who was playing these these instruments? Slovenian... Slovenian... Elvis Presley. Older, there is a conspiracy humans. Still homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. That Elvis is um, immortal when he's been around and controls the earth. So it could have been okay. him. Okay. Oh. How can I be homo sapiens? My bitch is playing a femur. Elvis Presley. A monkey? Okay. No. Moving on. Quick, quick one. <laughs> no, he wants to say something else. No, 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 no. <laughs> Which artist has the most Brit awards as a British musician? You know, Ooh. I'm thinking you might know this. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you four. Oh. Is it A, oh. Coldplay, B, Adele, oh. C, Robbie Williams, or D, Ed Sheeran? We're a, we're a talented country, aren't we, of musicians? and Yeah, we are. Action replay, I was writing this yeah. before they were even mentioned. Interesting. So is it A, Coldplay, B, Adele, C, Robbie Williams, or D, Ed Sheeran? Coldplay's cool. Have you seen that clip where he goes, oh, one day Coldplay's going to be massive. Yeah, it's that, is cool. that is good, cool. Good, good no, manifesting. Is. That is cool. All right, Batch, will you please reveal your answer? Adele. Adele. Shit. Arthur? I've gone Ed Sheeran, D. Ed Sheeran, D. So Ed Sheeran has seven. Oh no. Adele has twelve. Oh fuck. Ooh. Coldplay have nine. Okay. And Robbie Williams has thirteen. Oh, no way is it Robbie Williams? Williams has That's the, he's my god. That is so in history. Oh my god, uh, I love Robbie Williams. Not enough, apparently. <sighs> Shit, I just assume Ed Sheeran. How oh. cool is that? Robbie Williams. What a guy. What, what a guy. Watch yeah, watched his documentary. It was pretty So pretty still one all here. I'm surprised. I am surprised. It's one tough. all? How's it? Robbie Williams. We're not getting any points. We got any points yeah, on we suck. I'd like five oh, we've got it wrong. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> How's that right? You got it we wrong. got it wrong. <laughs> this is a really, this is a thinker. Okay. Now, Batch, you're a, you're, a, you're a clever man, Batch. No. Nope. And Arthur, you're a creative clever. And I think one of you <laughs> might get this. That's <laughs> why so I got told. And Arthur, parents even. <laughs> you're, special, you're a special boy. You're a special But I think boy. between you, if, if you... If you discussed it, maybe it would help, but we'll see. <laughs> what was the first music video ever played on MTV? Oh, I know this. And this makes so much sense in the context of it. I know this. D d is there, there's no... There's no, no multiple oh, choice. Because okay. if, I, if, I, if, if it was on there with this major hint that it makes complete sense... I think sense, it has something to do with... You'd be like, oh, yes. I think it's got something to do with that. <laughs> that's a TV show. It's yeah. what was the first music video? Oh, I think that's got something to do with that. No, so it's a song. Oh, would have been like that. Yeah, I think they played it. <laughs> okay. So music video. Why? Oh, why does it make sense though? The clue is in the question as well. It's a music video. 
What does that mean? It's just a question. I think when the clue is you in get the... it, people at home, obviously, I hope you're enjoying this quiz and participating. Can you repeat the question, please? They clicked off ages ago. <laughs> what is the most watched music video? Oh, no, that's... No, that was the next question, sorry. What, what was the first music video ever played on MTV? Oh, my God, I'm getting very peppered. Um, um, this is definitely wrong, but I, I'm going to go for it. So you had radio one day. And then MTV came in. That might be the final hint I'm going to give you. But it might not be the final hint, so there might be another hint around the corner. If I just wait. Oh, George so has the brain for this. George is itching in the corner. And now I've changed my mind because of your <sighs> last. Patch, have you got anything? Um, George, really quickly, do you want to come whisper it so I can say or... On it. No. <clears throat> um, that is why, by the way, I'm wearing the title T-shirt two weeks in a row. It's the same day. Mind blown. <sighs> okay. All right. Okay, Unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to have to push you for an answer. The first music video ever played on MTV. <laughs> Can I Batch, go? What do you think it is? Ye Yellow Submarine. <laughs> Yellow submarine, and why does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know. I've <laughs> <laughs> just seen it. <laughs> Arthur? I've gone for Video Killed the Radio Star. It is oh, Video yeah! Killed the Radio Star! Oh, come on! I just got George it get it? Well. Nice. I initially well, went for Radio Gaga, <laughs> which I thought also oh, made sense. Oh, that would have been good. But that was too early. I've seen that yesterday as well. Very good, video boys. Video Killed the Radio Damn. Star. Wow, that is So sweet. it's 2-1 to Arthur coming into the end Ooh. of the quiz. It, would you believe it? You couldn't write Two it. Two questions left. Hate if you get both that. of these right, you can overtake and win. Because what, what would it end on? 3-2, guys. Yeah, <laughs> good math. Thank you. Nice. Is that the question? Question six, multiple choice. What is the most B. watched music video of all time on YouTube? Uh, and you know what? I'll give you, I'll give you an I extra if mark the... if you can give the closest billion, but um, is it A? There's a lot of spit there. Fuck. I see that spit slow Sorry. Man. Um, is it A, Despacito by Luis Fonzi? B, Gangnam Style by PSY? Oh. C, Bath Song <laughs> by Coco Melon? Or D, Baby Shark by Pink Fong? Okay, mine wasn't even on there. So, Pat held up Blinding Lights. Most streamed song ever. The most, most watched, watched music video of all time on YouTube. Can I have the options again, please? A, Despacito by Luis Fonzi. Sorry. Very rude of me. B Gangnam Style by PSY. I think it's... C Bath Song by Coco Melon. I've not heard. Do, I, do, how does that go? Do you know? I don't even know. Or Baby Shark by Pink Fong. If it's that, I will kill myself. <laughs> and you can put a number of billions. And and if you get it right, I'll give you. An what was the first one? Sorry, sorry, sorry. A Despacito. Okay. B Gangnam Style. C Bath Song. B it Baby can't Shark. Be Gangnam Style, can it? Surely. <clears throat> What we're going to have to push you for an answer. Yep, we're going to have to push you for an answer on this one. All right, Italian <laughs> batch. What is your answer? Gangnam Style, 200 billion. Gangnam <laughs> Style has 5 billion. And that, I think I'm m not mistaken in saying that it was the first one to reach a billion. But this... But unfortunately, whatever. you're not correct. I've never had that so reveal Arthur. before you even <laughs> given the answer. Just... So Arthur... <laughs> no... I'd already written, my, I, um, I've gone Despacito. Despacito. With 10 billion. Has 8 billion. Oh, oh my God. 200 billion is, <laughs> is <laughs> mental. I can't believe that. 200 we brushed that under the rug. Every single billion. person on the planet has watched what? that. <laughs> 20 Some people 25 have done it times? En enough for everyone. Yeah. I've watched it five, ten yeah. times. Fair. Oh yeah, to be fair, actually, you listen to music more than once. A lot of times, so... Um, I can tell you music Bath Song by Coco Melon has 6 billion in between oh, the two. No. Is it really and Baby, Baby Shark? Baby Shark by Pink Fong has 14 billion oh views. Oh my God. Almost two views per person in the world. Right, life after death. Isn't that just crazy? Find out. There's 7 million people in the world. 7 million? Explain that. And the final question. Population's slowing down. So Batch, it? can you at least bring... Actually, you can still win <laughs> if, you, if you get the total... <laughs> 
with yeah. over 50 oh, million copies sold worldwide. What is the be- Oh, I've given away the, the number in the title. I'm not can't, can't yeah. that one <laughs> <laughs> No, I already had it written down. <laughs> I said 50 and you were at 15. So <laughs> I said out loud and you still oh. got it wrong. Oh, uh, get a replay of that. I don't think The is. last one with over 50 million copies sold worldwide. What is the best selling single of all time? Is it A, White Christmas by Bing Crosby? Oh, I didn't think about it. B, I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston? C, My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion? Or D, It's Now or Never by the immortal Elvis Presley? Yes. He's living on the moon or something, I think. <laughs> With Tupac. Yeah. <laughs> It's now so to go through that one more time, it's White Christmas by Bing Crosby at A. Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby. <laughs> Bing Crosby. <laughs> Bing Crosby. Uh, B, I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. C, My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. Or D, Big It's Now Never by Elvis Presley. I actually know the answer to this. Do you? Do you? you said that before. <laughs> <laughs> you said that last time you got it wrong. <laughs> you said that before. No, I actually know the answer to this. No cap. You're seeing it right Is now. Is there a bonus? Low no. diff, this was mid. Okay. Arthur. What is your answer? I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. And Batch, what have you put? White Christmas. It is indeed White Christmas <laughs> wow. by Bing Crosby. Oh my 50 God. 50 million. Champ I Will Always Love million. You by Whitney Houston, 24 million. Wow, my Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion, 18 million. And It's Now Whenever by Elvis Presley, 20 billion. Oh billion. Elvis Presley is 20 billion. 20 billion. That's not even that many people in the world. How has that happened? People are buying more than one. Wait, yeah. No, no, million. Yeah. Sorry, I meant he, million. He did say one. billion. <laughs> yeah. I meant million. Yeah, he did. So he's did ga- I say he billion for Elvis Presley has actually ran away with it with 20 billion. <laughs> yeah. 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 Blimey. Absolutely dunking on the 50 million. Yeah. <laughs> no, 20 <laughs> million. 20 well. billion. <laughs> and that concludes the first ever wow. Batch and Arthur quiz. Thanks, Arthur. Hopefully it's the last. And Arthur Hill wins it. Three, two. Come on. So you win a new car. Yeah, genuinely. Really? Yeah, you actually no. did. Genuinely. No. Tesla. Did you ever see a man, head of his company, held a competition for his workers and he said the winner will win um, a Toyota? He goes, you guys will win the Toyota. The winner of this competition gets a Toyota. What and this win? lady wins it and what she goes, Sorry? I want my Toyota. Oh, Toyota. Toyota. Oh, a Toyota. Sorry. Toyota. Thank you, Batch. Well, no, that. Toyota. <laughs> He goes, you're going to win a Toyota. And this lady won. Toyota. Wait, a what? A what? A Toyota. Oh, <laughs> that's why you say anyway. And he oh. brings out a toy Yoda, Yoda from Star Wars. No way. And gave it to her. And she sued in a court of law oh. and won the Toyota. No way. Yep, she did. This sounds like an episode of The Office. Yeah. That's, I know, that, I mean, that's yeah. cheek. Yeah, it would be great. Mm. What started as a harmless prank ended in a lawsuit. I know. Mm. So. A suit of law. Which happens too all too the time. Often. You guys been involved in a lawsuit before? No. You were on the right side of the law, right? You were yeah. justice yeah. for I was a long time. I was suing. He was Batman. Uh, yeah. I did kind of. There, there was once uh, I was driving at night and I was driving down the left-hand <laughs> side as we do in the left. In what car? In, in the UK. A Toyota. A Toyota. In an old school Mini. Nice old oh, time. Yeah. Uh, and I was in, in pitch black going around the corner. I was indicating to turn off right, driving, don't see anything, turn right, and just hear, ah, bang. <laughs> Who was the scream? What? <laughs> you? A Wilhelm scream. <laughs> what? <laughs> Turns out there was a cyclist. Are you serious? Yeah. You hit a cyclist? I did. A cyclist <laughs> coming the other way. On the other side of the road, and because I was crossing over, went into his lane and hit hit the poor guy. Thankfully, it was Jersey. The road laws very <laughs> slow. Um, get out the car, and he's like, "Oh my freaking leg!" The taxi driver <laughs> pulls up behind me and goes, "I couldn't see him either." And I look down, and the guy is drive it pit in the middle of the night, pitch black, yeah. no lights, no high vis, nothing, no way of seeing cloak, him. Everything. Um, what the hell? Police turn up, obviously, and go like, you know, I could technically. You know, I've, 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 I've ran a man over and they go, <laughs> the, the taxi man. How are you only revealing this the, now? The taxi man's <laughs> vouching for it and we can see he hasn't got ears, hasn't got lights. There's nothing you could have done to possibly see this man. Um, so you are not at fault. And I can't remember, but I think 
he had to pay for the damage to my car. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got no morals. You hit a man on a bike and he paid for the damage. <laughs> because, because he was negligent. Damage mm, did bro. something did something he shouldn't have done and damaged the car. I think it wasn't a lot. And he was <laughs> Did he like fully like come across your <laughs> He hit the, hit the windshield. He was fine. Oh my god. He like he was like, oh my bloody leg, and it was scraped up and stuff, but Oh my god, and he paid for the <laughs> the, the, the moral of the story is never cycle at night Around with Arthur. A jersey <laughs> without Arthur. lights or high vision. I will on. fucking hit you and yeah. I will fucking hit you pay the damage. <laughs> wow. But I can't remember if he did, because I think I think I probably family lawyer just dealt with it, and I never heard of it again. Yeah, but, De oh, dealt so with him. You never heard of him. But again. I was obviously panicking, and I was like, "My bloody <laughs> car!" And they were like, "New worry. Jersey." <laughs> and anyway, deal with him. <laughs> How did that story come up? Where'd that come from? Um, whether you've been on the right side of the oh, law? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it turns out you literally turns turned, you turned <laughs> right and hit a man. Yeah, <laughs> turned right and remained right. Yeah, mm. so um, pretty, pretty crazy true. though. Um, man's in good health though, though. So worry not. Um, mm. But a good warning. Well, you don't know. I do. It's Jazzy. If someone dies, oh, so everyone know. knows. Okay. I witnessed manslaughter once. What? Yeah. Truly. Mm. What happened? Um, I was it, a, a fight broke out while I was in the car in front of me on the zebra crossing, and I thought me and my friend initially thought that it was a man beating up a woman. Um, so we got out and cheered him on. <laughs> um, it's a joke. It's a joke. We got out and tried to get. The guy off this because he was on the floor. The well, the, it wasn't a woman; it was an old man. Basically, this like middle-aged guy was like beating the shit out of this old guy. And we were like, "Whoa!" Oh, we pulled them, pulled them apart. Um, I was like sixteen, so I was quite young. And um, the guy like pushed us off, got in his car, and drove off. And I'll always remember there was a kid, there was a kid like in the passenger seat, like watching. Mm -hmm. So he'd like seen the whole fight, and he was so scared. Goodness. He was like like six years old or something like that. And he drove off and then we were staying with the guy who's, who's this old guy and he's like bleeding all over his face, like all of his like hands were all cut up. And apparently like he was crossing the road and this guy was coming in too fast. So he like told him to stop and then he didn't stop. So he like put his middle finger up at him or something. <laughs> um, so the guy stopped and just got out and started beating him up. Oh my goodness. Um, and then we stayed with him and it took like two hours for the ambulance to come. Um, and then he went to the hospital. Me and my friend was, went home and was sort of semi-joking about it. Like, oh, like we... Like saved this, like we were like it's the heroes of my our village kind of thing. And then we got a call the next day that the guy died in the hospital because of his injuries. Um, wow! And had to go to court and everything. Crikey! Um, and he didn't get convicted. I wow. used to see the guy in my local leisure centre in the gym. Really? Just a straight up murderer. Crikey. Well, manslaughterer. He didn't get convicted. No, he didn't get convicted because apparently our witness statements were like not similar enough. Really? Wow. So, yeah. I, I do think that I'm kind of glad that there was the taxi driver to like vouch and be like, I couldn't see him either. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cause yeah cause it, it's quite a, a weird experience, really. I don't know if you guys have ever been in a traffic collision. It's sort of like you're shocked. You're like, what's just happened? I was obviously very concerned for the guy. I roughed him up a bit when I found out he had had no lights. No, <laughs> 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 you actually saw, his, the, you saw the lights and you threw them in the woods. <laughs> yeah. He had a whole high vis on Give everything. I wasn't planning on turning <laughs> Shit, right. I'm, I saw fucked. Him, I'm fucked. I saw him coming towards me and I still like it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Jeremy Vine and you thought you'd just get him. Yeah. It's so, you're in such a state of shock, just like, oh my goodness. Like, cause you, you, yeah. My first thought was like, oh my goodness. This I've literally ran over. A, you could have killed him. You could have yeah. been killed. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh my god, are you okay?" And he was to like, death. A "Bloody leg." And I was like, "What's <laughs> going on?" Man? To death. It, it's a weird. It's a very weird experience. Yeah. Did, do either of you Would you do oh, it again? You drive, I drive. <laughs> <laughs> I drive. Yeah. Would you do, Would it, you again? do it again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I drive, but um, thankfully nothing yet. So nothing yet. Such wood, nothing yet. Yeah. Something's on the horizon, but maybe. I totaled a car in my own driveway. How you must have got yeah. some speed. I know. <laughs> I had like a L, L-shaped driveway. So like you'd come in and park. I'd come in and park like that. Yeah. So I'd like to get out, I'd reverse and come out. So that's yeah. what I would do. And I was late for work. I didn't realize my sister had a friend around. And I somehow came out the door of our house. Didn't see that there was a car parked here. So I come out. I like reverse like really fast. Just straight, straight into, into the side oh. of, of oh, this car. No. And I remember just because obviously I just didn't know. I was like. What the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> the back of this whole car there. Yeah. Like, oh, what the fuck? I remember literally getting on my knees in the gra my gravel driver. Like, oh shit, I'm in so much trouble. 
Um, and her friend came out and was like, what the fuck have you done to my car? Yeah, like oh. totally totaled her car. That's so I weird. At least no. I did it no twice and I did it again. <laughs> like a year what? later. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Different friend. Uh, oh. Not well, much yeah. better though. No. Just you learned your lesson. Or? It wasn't as bad. I didn't total it, but I did, I did clip it. Fair. I mean, clip I now that. approach corners clip a lot slower. <laughs> clip, clip that. <laughs> clip that car. Well, speaking of all the, you know, what, what might have been, what has been, when I asked you your special subject, oh. something you wanted to speak about the most was, was life after death. So that's our final topic of this podcast episode. Yes. And um, Batch and I have, have, have spoken in the first episode or two about... Have you? Briefly. I mean, yeah, I know. A bit I've of religion, it. a bit of that kind of stuff. And people in really like a good deep dive into into beliefs people love they it do. so so we have the answer and the truth so. take take it away arthur what are your thoughts oh, on life no, after I thought death this would be a group discussion no we're just gonna okay, sit no, here and gonna listen and tell you if you're yeah. right or right. wrong well no i i wouldn't prove it you know as i say i, I panicked you prove it. <laughs> <laughs> i um, cool harry potter quote for you i panicked slightly you know but i i'm definitely in <laughs> for our audio listeners, Bash just started yawned. yawning. The second half has just started. Um, <laughs> no, because I, I just I think about it often. Is more what I meant. I think more. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> Someone <was> <laughs> 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 in my bike. <laughs> yeah. um, if the mics are too, you too know, good to pick that up, there was a honk honking, honk honk uh, honking. Car honking. Honk 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 um, yeah. I just I, I'm sort of I, I'm I am fascinated by it and what will happen. And I sort of, you know, there was a, a couple of years ago, I remember just reading things about, you know, people that have died and been brought back to life and what they've seen. Mm. Um, and sort of it's apparently like a great relief most of the time. Oh. In the moments before you die and your life does actually flash before your eyes. Um, and that's kind of cool. But that I still cool. fear it massively. Fear but death. I, and I think when I think of my, like, success in life, I often think about, like, legacy oh you're a mm. legacy person. i'm a legacy guy so i really am quite obsessed with wanting to live on more than i others. live personally so leaving music but behind. i also think that this isn't really off but like i i often feel guilty about that because i sometimes feel like i haven't got my morals quite correct <laughs> whereas like I, there's often times i think about like i would want to have died and been like i sold out stadiums and did this and all of this well i don't think I want to be remembered as a nice person. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, yeah, but like that I is a, I, like a family man. Yeah. I, see your, your I feel like my actual values of life are affected by what I think will happen after I die. If that makes any sense. That makes sense to I me. I probably should just focus on being a, you know, a good friend. And a, you are a good friend though. But, uh, you know. And a good person. Well, they say. say someone dies twice. <laughs> Once when, when, you, he when you die. He dies. Once... Once when, when people stop realize. talking about you. Oh. Yeah. That's oh. The, that's when you really oh, die. I have a different thing. What's yeah, yours? There's a, yeah, I know <laughs> which one you're yeah. doing. Yeah, go on, hit it. Well, <laughs> lives twice. Oh, shit. Once. Oh, no, I thought I've come. Once when he dies and once when he realizes he's only living once. Oh, fuck. Uh, I can't oh, no, live. They live twice. Yeah, live twice. They live twice. Yeah. Yeah. When they f figure out. <laughs> they only have one. Yeah. <laughs> it is a really good quote. It is such a good quote. But I, can't I can't remember, remember it. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but I get what you mean about leaving like a legacy behind. Yeah. How, what, what do you think? Do you think about that? Because I think about it probably every day. It's probably my Roman Empire. I about what, just your like, legacy? Yeah, if, I like, if I died tomorrow, you know, mm. I wouldn't be happy with what I've achieved mm. by, uh, at all. I'd be distraught. Wow. It's I think worse. mine's not really achievements. Mine, mine's weirdly family. So yeah, I think that I, makes me feel bad. I, yeah. I, <laughs> I, oh, okay. My big fear right. is dying, having not had kids yet. Oh, and that, wow. that's, See, that's very even... personal to me. I, I obviously, there are plenty of people that don't want kids and I don't, like I view my own legacy as being that important, but I don't reflect, project that onto others. So if someone says I don't want kids or I can't have kids, I don't mm. in any way see them or their legacy or anything as, no. you know, anything yeah, other yeah. than their own kind of choice. But for me personally, I like, I I love the idea of when I'm gone, being like, oh, there's a bunch of people who, you know. Yeah. From your seed. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, the, I have that worry about when I have a kid that all my other ambitions will go. Mm. But then why would that be a bad thing? Because then you've just changed what your I ambitions know, are. I know, but then I, yeah. 
Let it probably like would lay you, it down the line, you know. Would you want your kid to be greater than you, or never? As good as what you once were. Oh, that's a good <laughs> question. Um, I think I. Mm, no, I'd want it to be great. Yeah, I'd want it to be. You would, though. <laughs> if, Deep down. If, it, if, bit, if you had a, a son and he worse. was a better musician than you. But the thing is, I'd want. I'd probably. I'd. I'd probably be like a sort of Project Mbappe type dad. Mm. I really want to be a yeah. tennis dad. I want to sit in that corner. But, but, corner of but your legacy, you'd be happy dad. with people remembering you as this prodigy's the dad. dad. The dad. Uh, really? No, but I feel like. Th- as in, like, if I don't do that well, like, I'll live vicariously through my 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 child. Oh, so okay, either yeah. you make it or he does. No, 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 both of us can make it. But yeah. I feel like as long as I make it in some capacity, then I won't mind if he does better than me. Yeah. Okay, interesting. That's yeah. a good thought. I'm the same. I want to. I want. I care a lot about legacy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. For selfish reasons, I just do. Is that what KSI has tattooed? I was thinking that. What is it? No. Is it legacy? Knowledge, strength, be. and integrity, you know? Th- on his back. He's got legacy on his back. He's got a legacy on his back. Yeah. Mm. So we're just like KSI in many ways. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Just less f- less far down the line. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We've got a big energy drink company. <laughs> on the horizon. In 10 years. Yeah. yeah. We do, actually. We do. We've been What's working it called? On eBay or something? <laughs> it's called... No, it's no, called we'll, Seed. Seed. Yeah, yeah. Nice, I like it production is in seed. early <laughs> stages <laughs> that, uh, this is this is one thing i do find quite cool about our generation especially of creators and stuff is like if i were to die tomorrow my family would have so much content yeah that's mm. such a bonus of making content is that people can look back and yeah and even for yourself like when when we get older it, when you're not dead we're like mm. 70 you can't move anymore but you can look back at times that you yeah, won't we'll have aging won't we by then maybe yeah. when we're yeah, 70 true, actually, we, we should do Whatever episode of Batch and Arthur podcast we're on, we should look <laughs> back at our favorite clips from yeah, the first we'll couple of, from the first season. We'll be all old and withered looking back at ourselves. Mm. Or we won't have aged at all because Here we, go. we we'll will have reversed look aging. Even better. Reverse we'll look aging. He now believes in this as well. You, no, no, I never. I I kind of do. Oh, fair enough. Good. Good on you. Yeah. Good There's on no you. need to age anyway. No. That's made me stop caring so much about not being in the sun because people are like shouldn't be in the sun you're gonna get all wrinkly and stuff and i'm like you know what maybe i can be in the sun because by the time i'm old and wrinkly we'll be able to reverse the wrinkles mm. and, and even I'll just have new you, baby skin even if you can't who wants to look great at 80 anyway exactly live when you're i'll already look terrible with all my tattoos i'll look horrible i think your tattoos look great he, he'll they, look they, disgusting disgusting look horrible um that was a lot of fear of death but the, do you have any beliefs about what happens after you die then do you have any I am I think of I, I was I, there's nights where I'll be like oh my god it's just going to be like the thought of being dead forever is pretty scary yeah but then I think it's like what was it like before I was born it's yeah just I think it's that you ca- it's it hard to comprehend nothing. isn't oh, it oh so you do you're you're, you're pretty confident that it I'm is pretty going confident to be it's just yeah no, but like not bad nothing just nothing yeah we just wouldn't just, know yeah. but you know I, you know optimism there i'd be like oh reincarnation would be a little bit cute wouldn't it that would be great yeah that would be, be nice good. but what would you want to be reincarnated as the most oh, probably a cat that's pretty chill yeah. an outdoor cat one that gets chill. to roam. You know, i've done my main life oh, i'd yeah. rather just sort of find a windowsill and have that a would nap. be good actually. in the mediterranean i feel oh, then, yeah or like something just or maybe just i don't know like in go something different you know like a fucking i'd be leona lewis or something yeah <laughs> why <laughs> Because can you say that you've been Leona Lewis? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's, I hadn't thought about that. Over yeah. like Alexander the Great? Yeah. I'd want to be that octopus that Predict- predicts the World <laughs> Cup games. Yeah. That's, That's what I'd want to be reincarnated as. Oh, I, yeah. I did see one. Funnily enough, I, I once read it sleeping on the floor of Chris M.D.'s bedroom, aged like 15. <laughs> um, what? It was this really weird <laughs> philosophy idea that every single one of us is the same being just reincarnated so <gasps> when i die i've seen this yeah this is cool. i this go a name I can't, uh, cool. to god or whatever and i go oh like what now and they just go you just go back down yeah i go what what, what? Mm. you know it's like are you gonna be a chinese farmer in your next life and it's like what like what so i'm these why am i these two people and he goes ah oh, actually you're every single one of them every single human you've ever interacted is going to be you in the next life. And then 
just makes you think. Like, imagine if that's true. Every time you've ever mm. been mean to someone or, or made someone's life slightly worse or, or failed to make it better, you're There's just trying just to one yourself. consciousness. Have you seen Past cool. Lives, the movie? No, is it Very good? Very good movie. So it's like about a, like a Korean sort of theory or like belief that there's like, it's basically about this couple who meet and they're like, we're, it seem, they seem like they're perfect for each other, but it's not quite, they're like the timelines don't quite fit. Like she moves away, but they sort of like out comfort the fact that they're with each other in a future life. Mm. So like it's, it's literally the same thing you say in terms of like you're reincarnated, but like their next life, they'll be together as who yeah. they are. Oh. It's like a real nice, like wholesome thing. Mm. They're soulmates, but in a different life. I like that. Have you got the uh, other one who got away? Um, plenty, yeah. My basement's got a lot of <laughs> holes full, in it. Full capacity. Right. I did say, actually, I, I wanted to, that to be the final topic, but there was just one more that I said at the start was women. Now, you, you were talking about how much you <laughs> used to... them? You used to... What, what are women? What are women? <laughs> how do you talk to them? What the fuck mm. do they want? Um, <laughs> no. The fuck do yeah. they want? They're always just there. <laughs> you ever what seen What Women Want? want? Such a good movie. No. Mel Gibson gets like struck by lightning or something, and then he can hear every woman's inner thoughts. Oh, and so that's when he's exactly like, exactly what would happen if you got struck by mid, lightning? Mid into course, and they're like, oh, <laughs> you know, go a bit higher, and he does, and she's like, wow, <laughs> this guy knows exactly that's what I'm what thinking. Women want. Mm, really good. Um, but yeah, <laughs> you, you said at the start the music was quite an embarrassing thing. You didn't really tell anyone. Not was it? Your yeah, thing yeah school? Well, school musicals, yeah. And yeah, now, yeah. obviously, it's a very cool thing. Yeah. And you are quite a womanizer, I'd say. You've probably got the best... He's a hunk. Hang on a minute. What? A womanizer? I don't know about In a that. good way. You've, you, you're you probably the, the... the the I hate the word, but you've got the best Riz in the group. <laughs> <laughs> Riz. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, George... Have you always been like that? He's not here, so I'll talk about him. But George <laughs> is... George is good uh, digitally, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Not too good in person in bars and stuff, but he just likes to, in his own words, let them come to him. Which is right. a, yeah. He sort of waves his <laughs> TikTok account around. Just randomly <laughs> slandering. Um, but <laughs> no, I think, yeah, I like, uh, after, I'm, I'll admit, I'm absolutely rubbish if I have, if I've had no booze. But like oh, really? three pints in, I'm, I'm, I feel like, I, yeah, I back, I back myself. You turn it on. Just being and does, a nice, does being charming the, man. Does being the musician really help? I don't know how much it comes up, that, but, but I think, yeah, it probably does help as a sort of, if we get chatting, yeah, I'll probably be like, oh, yeah, I'm doing music. You've Definitely got that aura about you. Aura. It's all about the aura. Are it's you one of those musicians aura. that sort of like dates someone from their gig every single time that goes like, oh, that's, that's an attractive girl in the audience? No, that, my date. audience is quite young. Groupie. So, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Do you yeah. ever consider smoking cigarettes to look cool? That are cool. Put it out on them. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, do you just think you could ever do a show that's like the 1975 one where it's a bit theatrical as yeah, well? Yeah, I'd love to do Given that. Given you're quite a theatrical, like love get to a do big that. set. Yeah. Have a bit of a storyline to mm, it. That would definitely be very cool. Um, get a horse out for the cowboy song. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, an actual horse. Get a little Nas. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. To do his song. An actual horse. An actual horse. Yeah. And then I bang whores. <laughs> what is it you want with women? <laughs> What do, what do you want, want with women? <laughs> what do I want with what women? What do you, you want for? from them? What do you look for in a woman? Because you're... You just want their warmth. I, I hope don't you don't you? mind me saying this. You... you, you in Because I mean this in a nice way. You fall in love very quickly. So it's hard to narrow <laughs> no, down I just what you I like do. about I don't women. Do, I, I just do that. It's become a running joke, so I play into it. Yeah, but I haven't been in love enthused. in a long time, I think, properly. Oh, I really? just, I just like if a girl, it, like if I get on with a girl, I'm gonna run to you guys. But like, I'm in love. Yeah. <laughs> that's what You're happens. You're very giddy. You're yeah, like, yeah. Oh, she's amazing. No, because she's I think I just, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I've been single a very long time, so I just get a bit excited, you know. But um, yeah, I don't. I think because I, I, I don't know how. I don't know what I'm looking for at the moment. If I'm honest, is it because you haven't found it, or you're not? I was saying for... I'm not very good at sharing a bed, which is a big issue. Oh, really? I've been single for a long time, so if I do end up sharing a bed with a lady, I often get no sleep. And even if I had a great time with them, I hate them in the morning because I got one hour <laughs> sleep. How um, do you sleep then? Curled up? Yeah, what do no, you do? No, I, I definitely a, can't really do that. I can't, I can't sleep with like any touch going on. Do you sleep oh. naked? Um, no. Well, no, not, not by myself, no. But with a lady? Maybe. Or she rolled on it at night? <laughs> 
got rolled on it. <laughs> yeah, what colour is it, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm, is that because you're a really light sleeper? I am quite, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> rolled on it in the night. <laughs> is that not a fear? It's sort of just, is you roll it? Just, oh, I work mine you off the on bed. You, what, you what? Mine dangles off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I tie mine to the I've post got a hole binding. in the bed for mine. I have to stay in the position. So I put it in. It's like a, yeah, it goes in the mattress that I can't oh. move. I tilt around the axis of my penis in the mattress. <laughs> Um, but you're not a spooner. I'm not a spoon. I like doing it, but I can't fall asleep like it. No. No. Yeah. No. I'm like, I don't like to be touched whilst I'm sleeping. Yeah. In that, in that very moment. I'm just so used to like being having my own space. But I think if I was to have proper feelings for someone, I'd obviously practice and learn get used and to it. tell them not to roll on it. <laughs> roll. Um, yeah, it would take a while, but I think we'd get there. But yeah, I don't know if I could fit in a girlfriend at the moment. You're a busy man. <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean by that? Fit it, fit in a girlfriend. Fit it in is different. A busy what man. did I say? Did I say fit in? Fit in a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I don't well, know if I sense. could fit in a girlfriend. It, yeah, but when it said quick, it just said, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could fit in a girlfriend. <laughs> it's quite, I'm quite swollen at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me in, would you? <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> women, women, I like women a lot. They are fantastic. They are great. And on that lovely, cheery note, a nice little upturn from the deep, dark depths. A nice little upturn. Yeah, Arthur's yep. doing more finger action yeah. there. Death to way. women, yeah. Women on top. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? You from just, death to women. You I just said death. death to women. And no, I said finger up. from. I you said did say death from. to women. <laughs> so then he followed women on top. On a nice end. I went, I went, <laughs> Differing I went women opinions. are fantastic and you went death to women. <laughs> no, I said from death to women because that's what we were talking about. And you oh, went, oh. And, you, <laughs> and you went, women on top. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you just went death to women. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, from like from like life after death to speaking about women. From death to women, not death to women. <laughs> <laughs> women on top, because we love women on this podcast, and we should get one on at one point. We would not be able to speak. To <laughs> We're them. building up the courage. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, everyone, for listening and watching today. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Make sure to subscribe. Check out our socials, our Patreon, and uh, check out Arthur. Check, out, me check out, out Arthur Hill. Arthur Hill. Arthur Hill. His Not music's amazing. Want to plug anything? Amazing. Plug it right now. Um, my butthole. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh nice. Literally. Not tasteful no, at all. No, it really are. In bad um, taste. Yeah. Thanks for I've watching. I've got a book coming on it. Okay. <laughs> Do you really? No. no. I'll cut that. Bit. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. And then it. cut now. Wait, do you want to just do your plug your socials really quickly? As if he had just gone, plug your oh, socials. Oh, I just plug your socials. Arthur Hill everywhere. Nice. I got actually uh, a, a girl on Hinge liked me recently and said, "Why are you everywhere?" <laughs> oh wow, that's quite good. Yeah. Oh. So like me on Hinge, and go find him that's everywhere. He was and go follow me. Her, that's why she thought he was everywhere. All right. Thank you for watching and listening. See you next week. See you next week. Bye.